Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome back. I've noticed, apart from my I bought a cheap dot 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 videos, the other videos which always seem to do well are my garage tour videos. When I take my camera and just show you around my stock, how long it's been there, you know, what I think of it, all that sort of stuff. But unfortunately I can't do one of those every single month because my stock doesn't rotate that frequently. So I thought instead, I had a brainwave, I'd do a new series where I go and look at other people's car showrooms. So today I'm up in Ripon in North Yorkshire. It's a very cold day, it's minus five degrees. And I'm at ALX Specialist Cars, which belongs to a good friend of mine. So let's go and have a look at the cars. Now, predictably, we may as well start with the Land Rovers, hadn't we? And have a look at this. This is a 2019 Range Rover 5 litre supercharged, the same as my white one, but it's a long wheelbase model. I love the green over tan colour combination as well. And it's got a wooden steering wheel. I've just noticed right away we've got deployable side steps. Oh, wow. Have you seen the back of this? In fact, this is too good, let me get in. Well, this is cool. You get reclining seats. Loads of leg, it's like being in a private jet. I mean, I wouldn't know, but it's how I imagine it is in a private jet. This is really cool. You've got the leather headlining as well. I'm sold on this. Wonder what they'd give me for mine. Here then we've got a Discovery 5. I know it's not technically called a Discovery 5, but it replaced the 4, so I like to call it the 5. I did a review with one of these a couple of years ago and I was really impressed with it. Let's have a look around this one. I think these are great value now, actually. Fire this one up. They're a very luxurious car now. It is almost like being in a Range Rover. You get heated seats, heated steering wheel. A nice three litre turbo diesel V6. Decent price that as well, you know. It's a lot of car for 35 grand. What I like about these is the fact that on the inside it's as luxurious as a Range Rover, but it still looks more utilitarian, more rugged. I'm really impressed with the stock that they've got here. I mean, this is a new business. They've only been going for three or four months now. And so far I've liked everything that I've seen. Let's have a look at some others then. I promise I'll, I'll leave the Land Rovers alone now for a bit. I know I said no more Land Rover content, but the price of this one has just caught my eye. A late 2013 Range Rover Vogue for 20,500 quid. It just seems like so much car for the money. It's only a Vogue spec, so you don't get soft closed doors, no pan roof. It is the base model, the Vogue, really, but still, 20 grand. I've just spotted quite a nice 996 911. Let's go and have a look at that. I've mentioned many times I'm not a huge 911 fan, but there's something about that. It's a 4S, 2003, so it's one of the last 996s. I think they changed in 04, 53, 04. It's got the Savannah leather interior. That's a really nice colour combination, actually. It's got a sunroof and a rear window wiper. I think I'd quite like one of these, you know. I think they're having the moment. They've been unloved for years. Electric seats. It smells of 911 as well, if that makes any sense. <laughs> this is really cool, this. No heated seats, that's a pity. Oh, there are, oh no, there are. There are heated seats. You know, when you consider this is 21 years old now, it's in really nice condition. Nice Alcantara headlining. The good thing about these as well, it costs about £2,000, but you can buy a modern uh, official Porsche head unit with Apple CarPlay and all that sort of stuff. Which I wish they'd make for my old SL, to be honest. Just make it a lot easier to, uh, to live with. There we go, little cup holder. Right, next one then. Right, let's have a look at this Porsche Macan S. Now, I've never, you know what, I've never driven one of these. I've never reviewed one. I don't know anything about them, really. 
but I do like the look of them. They've been around since 2015. You can get them with a two litre petrol engine, a three litre diesel, a three litre petrol, a 3.6 litre petrol turbo. I just told you I didn't know anything about them, didn't I? I kind of knew it would be like this. Really good quality, everything's solid. Let's fire it up. Sounds good. This then, I'm guessing, I haven't done my research, but I'm guessing this is a three litre petrol. Sounds nice. This is a high spec as well. We've got electric seats, electric steering column, heated seats. This is the thing that I love about modern Porsche. Everything just feels really solid. And I like the red interior as well. I should probably have something like this as my everyday car, not my Range Rover. This is a better size. Anyway. You know what, I'm just thinking out loud here, but I might come back and do a review with this car. Spend the afternoon driving around the, uh, the roads of North Yorkshire in a Porsche McCann S. Right, this next car's a bit interesting. That's, an, that's a new shape SQ5. Now I did a video with the old shape SQ5, 2016 I think it was, a white one, a few months ago. And I really like that but I haven't driven the new shape. Let's go and have a look. Before I show you the SQ5, I just want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you're setting up a business, one of the first things you need to do is set up a website. And with Squarespace, that couldn't be easier, even if you're a technophobe like me. From websites to online stores, to marketing tools, to analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build and run your business. We're currently building a new website for the online store. I just want to make it look more professional and uh, I guess cooler. And crucially, I want it to be easy to use both on a desktop and on your smartphone. Now have a look at this. Creating a website with Squarespace couldn't be easier. There are loads of different templates to choose from. Once you've chosen your template, you can edit and change what your website looks like just by dragging and dropping photos and your own logos and fonts and colors and that sort of thing. It really is as easy as that. Before you know it, you've got yourself a professional looking, personalized website like this. So if you need a website for your business, and I think you really must these days, I know it can seem like a really daunting task, but thanks to Squarespace, it doesn't have to be. All you need to do is head over to squarespace.com forward slash hypecortos, or alternatively click the link below in the video description, and you'll get 10% off your first website or domain name. So thanks Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Right, let's have a look at this SQ5. In fact, this is a good question. Would you rather have the SQ5 or the Porsche Macan? Now I think underneath they're basically the same car. I don't know which one I'd go for, but I'm thinking the Porsche. I think the Porsche would win. Right, let's fire her up. I know with this new shape, I think they do a diesel and a petrol. This is petrol. Oh, listen to that. Sounds throaty. I do like an Audi interior. It's all very clean and clinical and crisp. The old SQ5 was something like 330 horsepower. I imagine this will be similar, perhaps 350 or 60. So it should be uh, a bit of a blast to drive this. Oh, this next one's interesting. It's a new shape Touareg R-Line, and I really like these. For me, it kind of reminds me of the new XC90. Just a good looking, sensible car. Straight away though, I've seen that, you can tell this is the, the cheaper of the VW Audi group four wheel drive cars because I've got manually adjustable seats. Still, I don't think it'd put me off buying one really. It's got everything else. This will be a three litre turbo diesel. How do I change my volume? Oh, I don't like that. It's a touch screen. It's a nice car like this. That's quite good, I suppose. The climate has got actual physical buttons. It's just the infotainment screen. And did that just... No, maybe it was my imagination. Oh, we've got a heated steering wheel. They are very good value, these. And I imagine fairly sensible to run. Ah, right, this is where we're going to next. Over in the corner there, there's an Audi A8, 4.2 litre turbo diesel V8, and next to it is a Jaguar XJL, but it's a super sport. Let me show you. How do I turn this off? There we go. Over there then, we've got a beautiful Audi A8, 4.2 diesel. I'm a big fan of those. But here's the one I'm really excited about. It's really hard to believe that that's a 13, nearly 14 year old car. I still think it looks fresh. So basically, this is a Jaguar XJ, but it's the L, so it's the long wheelbase. And I might be getting this completely wrong now, but this is what I think. Correct me in the comments if I am wrong. This is a super sport. So what it is essentially, I think, is a Jaguar XJR, but in a more gentlemanly spec. 
So it doesn't have the loud Larry body kit on it or wheels or anything like that, but it's still a five litre supercharged V8 with 520 horsepower. Should we do a cold start? I love an XJ. Right, let's fire up this. Uh... Oh yes. Just have a look at the design of this dash. It's stunning, don't you think? I love these. If you're interested in buying one of these, by the way, check the sunroofs, because they often rust down either sides. Bit of consumer advice there for you. This one's done 50,000 miles, and it is 18,995. And because it's the big petrol, it'll be utilised and all that sort of stuff. No, I'm always quite smitten with these. Right, should we head inside because my fingers are freezing? Over here we've got Mr T's van. Just quickly before we go inside and warm up, because my lips are going numb, can't feel my fingers. Over there is an 840 BMW. Now I've got one of those in stock myself. Mine's a 840i petrol. That was an 840d. I just think they're beautiful cars. I was planning to do a review with mine last Sunday, but then in the end I just went walking the dog instead. But I will get around to it, I promise. Right, so let's go inside. That's better. Over here though, we may as well start off with this Porsche Boxster. Now this is a one owner car in speed yellow. It's only done 62,000 miles. It's automatic. It's just the cleanest thing I've ever seen, I think. It's completely original. You just can't find cars like that every day. I do love that color combination as well. And the condition is like new. That's the sort of thing that if I had the space and the money, I'd just keep in the garage because it's only, it's only going one way. It'll just keep increasing in value that, I'm convinced. You just can't find cars like this every day. Oh, XKR, look at this. I think these have aged beautifully, you know. They're old cars now, but look at that. So this is a 4.2 litre supercharged V8 with 400 horsepower, I think. It's only done 68,000 miles as well. This shared the platform with the DB7. Now, when I drove the DB7, the V12 one that we had in stock, yeah, this is the same. You sit up really high and you can't really lower it. I found myself sort of slouching. It was fine with the roof down, but with the roof up, my uh, Tintin fringe was rubbing the, uh, the roof. This would be a great Sunday car, wouldn't it? Yeah, I like that. Ah, oh, this is interesting. Right, this is a brand new S-Class. Well, I say brand new, it's a couple of years old. It is the, the new model S-Class, so that will be a W223. Let's go and have a look. I've been excited to see what these are like because the technology on this, I believe, is unbelievable. We've got soft closed doors. This is everything that I expected it to be. This is beautiful. Look at the pillows you get even. Oh yes. This is like the new SL, so everything's touchscreen, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it's the way things are going. This would be an awesome car, wouldn't it? You know what I love as well? The storks on new Mercedes. And the steering wheels. And the seats. Well, everything really, I suppose. I think this is an S400D, so I think it's a three litre twin turbo V6 diesel. But I mean, this will be sensible to run. You'll get 55 miles per gallon on a run with this. Should we have a look at the Chav Spec Sport? I know they're a bit vulgar and a bit obnoxious, but I can't help but think they're cool. And I think it's great value at 48 grand. So this is a five litre supercharged V8. The early ones were 550 horsepower, but the later ones were 575. And shall I let you in on a bit of a secret? I nearly bought one of these in this color about two years ago. Before I bought my white Range Rover, I was buying one of these. I went to a place in Manchester, a main dealer, nearly bought it. I think, it, in fact, it was bank holiday weekend and they couldn't let me have the car until the Monday and this was the Thursday or Friday. And I thought, oh, well, I'll leave it then. And I went and bought my white one instead. Ultimately, I think I made the right decision because I love mine, but this is a bit more of a young person's car than mine. Anyway, I've never actually driven one of these either, so I should get hold of one or, you know, borrow this one and do a review. I can see myself camping out here for weeks, filming everything they've got. 
Also, I've noticed this is a much nicer showroom than mine as well. They don't even have any buckets to collect the rainwater like I do. Here's another car that I've never actually driven, the BMW M2. Now this is an M2 competition in, is it Snapper Rocks Blue? I think it's Snapper Rocks Blue. This I think is like the original M3 basically. It's smaller, stiffer, it's a proper track focused thing I think. Again, I haven't driven one, I should borrow it and review it. I bet it's great fun though. Mm, I like it. I also think they nailed the styling on this one. The later ones have got the, the big Bugs Bunny grill, which I'm not a big fan of. I think this just looks right. I'm well impressed with this setup. This is, it's given me some inspiration actually, because this is what, this is what my place should be like, really. My place looks a bit disheveled and unloved. They've just done everything properly here. Even, for example, the handover bay. So the car's all prepared for the new owner, under a sheet. I just think it's, it's a much nicer experience, don't you think? So I think that's about it, guys. Thank you once again for watching. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done already. You can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the link below. And if you like this kind of video, then let me know. And also, by the way, if you've got your own car showroom or garage or whatever, and you'd like me to do this at your place, then let me know in the comments. Or email me, matt at hypcortos.com. Quick thank you once again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use my promo code HYPECORTOS for your 10% off your first website or domain name. Right, cheers guys. See you next time.